Pure Gen plant goes on the site right here. Tim Bauer is a man with a plan. I can't tell you how exciting it is to be able to bring new technologies to a business that has really been hidebound, in my opinion, in doing things the same old way. That same old way, when it comes to generating electricity from coal, is to burn the fossil fuel, releasing climate change and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. The Pure Gen plant uses coal as its feedstock. However, we don't burn it in the traditional sense. We make gas out of it. We gasify it to make hydrogen. Bauer's plan calls for capturing the carbon dioxide at the plant and carrying it in a two-foot diameter pipeline 140 miles offshore to where it will be injected into sandstone 8,000 feet under the seabed. The process is called carbon capture and sequestration, or CCS. While of course it's more expensive to create electricity the way we are with a gasification facility and with our carbon sequestration, we're able to cover that capital cost by co-production. When electricity prices are high, we will make electricity out of the bulk of our hydrogen stream. However, when electricity prices are low, we will be making uh, commercial chemicals such as urea used as fertilizer or in pollution cleanup in diesel engines. But not everyone loves the idea. A recently formed coalition group called Stop PureGen doesn't want the power plant in their backyard. Linden, we're on the front lines in the battle for climate change. The reason that this, is, this plant and this facility is, the, is really the front line battle is because what happens here is going to affect how we deal with climate throughout the country and throughout the world. Whether we're going to be putting our money into green resources like renewable energy and energy efficiency, or we're going to go down the same old failed path of saying technology is going to solve our problems by building very expensive plants. The Pure Gen site is Despite the opposition and the cost, SCS is betting on success and plans to be generating low carbon electricity by 2016. I'm Dr. Heidi Cullen with Climate Central.